It is not only a problem, but it's also an opportunity. We have the opportunity now to create jobs all across this country, in all 50 states, to repower America, to redesign how we use energy, to think about how we are increasing efficiency, to make us, make our economy stronger, make us more safe, uh, reduce our dependence on foreign oil, uh, and make us competitive uh, for decades to come, even as we're saving the planet. For over seven years in the small Arkansas town of Stapps, a viable step towards solutions to our country's energy crisis and solid waste problems has been developed. In August 2003, the process was first shown to industry, the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality, and the Governor's Environmental Board. Since that time, efforts have been made to scale up the size and to develop economic uses for the unit. It is now ready to be revealed and shared as a system at a time when our country stands at the very serious crossroads to our energy future. The father and son team of Jackie and Mike Rogers has developed the first truly efficient carbon neutral biogas converter. With the aid of business and technical consultants, the process has been expanded to include a variety of optional components and operational conditions to fit a variety of situations. This unit can and will provide a solution to this country's energy crisis. The process is simple and the results are grand. Biomass is fed into the unit and reformation begins with the aid of a starter fuel. As the solids are reformed, a ready-to-use ash fertilizer is automatically removed from the bottom of the reactor. This removal is safe both to the environment and personnel. From the reforming reactor, gas and liquids are separated and removed. The liquids are pumped into a recirculation vessel for better separation. Accumulated oils and fuels are removed for storage and eventual sale. Liquids and solids from treatment can be returned to the reformer for recycling. There are no byproducts requiring disposal in this process. Additionally, the exit gas temperature averages 110 degrees Fahrenheit, a far cry from any other system on the market, making a safer environment for the workplace. Yet another key cost factor of great importance is the condition of the input biomass. This system only requires that the particle size be such that it will pass through the feed system. Moisture contents can be as high as 75%, so no expensive and energy intensive drying systems are needed and bulk handling is kept at a minimum. Additionally, dry feedstocks do not need moisture added. This basic concept was used successfully during World War II, as well as in the New Zealand embargo crisis. However, the new nanotechnology catalyst used now takes this current unit a quantum leap forward in comparison. While there are many large-scale renewable energy projects and production facilities, the nature of renewable technologies lends itself to small-scale community-based solutions. Sometimes in rural or remote areas, energy prices can affect people's lives in a far more detrimental manner than densely populated urban areas. Arkansas does not have easy access to hydropower, geothermal energy, nor solar energy. What our nation does have in abundance is biomass. For example, just the state of Arkansas has approximately 9.5 million acres of agriculturally viable farmland. It is estimated that this alone could produce over 3 million dry tons of crop-based biomass annually. This advanced process offers a new renewable energy system that can produce an energy from a previously untapped biomass source and also be a synergistic partner in the current green energy projects throughout the United States. The green machine offers unique features and tremendous possibilities that can change the direction of our current energy crisis into energy opportunities today and for future generations. That was 2007. In the meantime, we focused on ways to add more hydrogen the element that is the energy in our fuels as well as 75 percent of the universe's elemental mass under conditions similar to our Earth's formation and struck gold, black gold that is, or Texas tea, 
highly valued petroleum alternatives, 13 and a half barrels per ton of waste. Update: New 2009 solution models convert waste into hydrogen-rich petroleum alternatives, biofuels, and industrial oils, turning farming waste into the oil fields of the future. Our process produces large quantities of hydrogen, allowing for the creation of biodiesel, fissiotropic oil, methanol, and semi-refined tall oils. The annual return is approximately $250,000 per year, based on processing two tons of waste per day for 350 days a year. There are four solution models, starting at 500,000.